we are inside of the Blaine Mobile. The stink bug, man. <laughs> and it's uh, about nine o'clock on this nice Friday evening. We're in Coulter Bay in the Tetons. We're gonna wake up, I don't know, something like maybe 2 a.m. or something tomorrow. And then the plans to do Mount Moran tomorrow, Skillet Glacier. They say it's a 50 classic line, but that'll be up to us to interpret. It's a six mile walk across the lake and then a 6,000 foot climb up to the top of the mountain and then uh, hopefully ski down and not cause any wet avalanches and then skin six miles back across. So it's gonna be a pretty, pretty long day. See you tomorrow morning. Just put the breakfast of champions together. At 2 a.m. we uh, awoke to some nice noises from everybody else waking up at 1 a.m. We're about to get started. Once I finish this burrito from Dog, this is super good. We just turned off the headlights, we're walking blind across the lake, and there are one billion stars out here. All right, we just got across the lake. It took us about a little over 90 minutes. Now we're into the woods. All right, we're finally gaining some elevation. The plane just popped in on Crustable. <laughs> now he's indestructible. The uh, burrito from Dog has really filled me up. I've been feeling great. Three and a half hours, we're at almost eight and a half miles. Uh, over 10,000 feet right now, which means less than 2,500 feet to go. Catching up to all these people who started at 10, 10 p.m. We just hit transition to booter because <clears throat> there is so much debris down here. It's kind of ugly. Everybody behind us is turning around and they have crampons, which we don't. Yeah, it's, I've never seen anything like this. Just straight up ice everywhere. <sighs> Blaine breaking the booter. Getting uh, pretty toasty out here, but we can see the summit all the way up there. Right, it's been five hours. We're a thousand feet from the summit. 7:30. Oh, I just stopped eating my second pop tart. Oh, what's that dance called? Uh, maybe damn folks. <laughs> okay, just over a thousand feet. Right there. Just a quick valley. Three steps and end up in the same fucking spot. <clears throat> I got smacked in the arm by a rollerball. That's fun. Blaine leading the crux pitch. Mid, mid, mid-tier views. Mm. Mount Moran. <laughs> the boy is hitting the yog. Six and a half hours from the car, across the lake, up 6,000 feet, just after nine o'clock, which makes me feel pretty good. And it's gonna be a survival scale way down, but this is extreme, this is so sick. Tragic. Oh, this is hard. Fuck. <laughs> 
This is really hard, man. Eternity never ends. See the video? No. Oh, okay. Still walking. All right, we just got back to the car. Cracked the beer. Tastes so good right now. That lake was tragic <laughs> on the way back. Grand Teton. Fire. Total stats on the day, 19 and a half miles. It took us 10 hours, something like maybe 6,000 feet. That was brutal, <clears throat> but that was sick. I can't believe we actually made it to the summit. And honestly, even though the skiing was terrible, <laughs> that's still an epic and sick day. All right, until next time, peace out.